at number one, the Australian Christian lobby's Jim Wallace, who, in his continuing efforts to portray gay people as some kind of unicorn-killing, toxic threat to everything that's good, <laughs> this week trotted out a new line that being gay is a health threat on par with smoking. We're concerned about the packaging of cigarettes, you know, because we are concerned about uh, what that says to people or how attractive it might be. Uh, I think in the same... And, and yet it has bad health outcomes. In the same way, the homosexual lifestyle has some disastrous health outcomes. Fancy a route? Nah, thanks, I'm trying to quit. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I was having 20 a day. <laughs> What Wallace did was Marketing 101. Pretend you're the solution when you're actually part of the problem. If persecuted minorities are more likely to have health problems, then step one is surely stop persecuting them. And, Jim, if you want to run a campaign that links homosexuality and cigarettes, all you have to do is take the R out of this one. No, Gary, no! No, Gary, no! Planet tested the last.